Hello, sumo fans. I'm Scott Finlay, and welcome to another edition of the Road to Glory series here on World of Sumo, where I will be taking you through the journey of none other than Abby. From a quick rise to multiple controversies, sit back and relax as we go through the highs and lows on his quest for glory in his first Yushu Championship. Born in Saitama Prefecture on May 4th, 1994, named Kosuke Horikiri, he is the youngest of four children. He has a brother and two sisters. His family is in the construction industry and runs their own company. Always being a tall kid, or lanky as we say here in Scotland, and being a bit of a plump kid, he was never sporty as a child, but eventually tried his hand at judo before realising his ability for sumo. Once he got past trying to avoid the gruelling and painful training sessions and got stuck in, of course, he won the Children's Sumo Championship in both his first and second year in sumo. He tried out for the national tournament but found very little success and started to think sumo was not in his future, but continued it anyway as most of his friends were involved. Two of those being the future Daesho and Hokoto Fuji. Abe attended Koshigaya City Sagami Junior High and was a member of their sumo club, doing well in many tournaments. He took third in the National Junior High School Tournament in Kagoshima. He actually said that he recalled being so certain he would be eliminated on the first day, he brought a swimsuit for swimming in the nearby sea so he would have something to do for the rest of the tournament. He later transferred to Chiba Prefectural Nagariyama High School and was also a member of their sumo club. He was classmates with future Dai Shoho. In his third year of high school, he achieved third place in the 61st Towada Sumo Tournament in the individual category, losing to the future Ichinojo. His parents hoped he would enter college sumo, but he expressed interest in taking over the family business. Then, out of nowhere, not long afterwards, he joined Shikora Yamabea without letting his parents know, because the Oyakata, or head coach of Shikora Yamabea, the former Tarao maintained a good relationship with Abby's high school sumo coach. His parents had not expected this sudden change and were reluctant to meet with Tarao at first, but Abby convinced him and then that was it. Abby debuted in July of 2013 under his family name of Horikiri, where he achieved a 6-1 record just losing out on the Jonakuchi Championship in the September, Abbey then took the Johnny Dan Championship with a perfect 7-0 record winning in a playoff. In the next tournament, which was his Sandan May debut, he only achieved a 4-3 record at first, but went on to take the Sandan May Yusho with a perfect 7-0 later on. Unlike the struggle of most wrestlers, Abbey was able to speed through the Makushta division in only six tournaments after achieving a 5-2 record at the rank of Makushta 2, he was guaranteed promotion to the Jurio division in less than two years since his pro debut. So, in the March of 2015, he was promoted to the salaried ranks of Jurio. On this promotion, this is when he chose the new Shikona or ring name of Abby, which was the idea of his stable master, the former Sekiwaki Tarao. He unfortunately only lasted four tournaments in the Jurio division and was later demoted back to the unsalaried ranks of Makushta. In March 2017, at Makushta 16, he got 7-0 and took the championship. He would follow this with a strong 5-2 in May, which would finally garner re-promotion to Jurio in July. Managing 8-7 in the next tournament in September at Jurio 11, he posted a 10-5 record and on the final day won in a playoff to take the championship. Starting to become a pattern with these L playoffs, eh? An 11-4 record at Jurio 5 in November would propel him to the top tier of Makuchi division for the first time. In his debut in January 2018 at Maigashira 14, 
He had a record of 10-5 and earned the Fighting Spirit Prize. Another 10-5 for the March 2018 tournament saw him promoted to Maegashira 2 for the May, where he recorded only 7 wins, but earned his first Kimboshi by defeating Yokozuna Hakoho on day 6. He won his second Kimboshi in consecutive tournaments in July of 2018 with a victory over Yokozuna Kakaru on day 5. In May 2019, he won 10 bouts and claimed another Fighting Spirit Prize. This performance earned him promotion to the Sanyaku ranks for the first time at Komosubi. He followed up with an 8-7 and 9-6 records in the next two tournaments and did not get promoted to Sekiwaki as there were no openings at the rank due to so many ups and downs from the current crop of Ozeki at the time. In the following November, in Kyushu, he produced another 9-6 record from the rank of Komisubi East, but this was also a bad month for him, as Abbey was well known for being a fun-time guy and a joker and prankster. Before the Basho began in November, he was reprimanded because he posted an image on Instagram of his friend and fellow wrestler Wakamoto Haru tied up and gagged with tape on his mouth as a prank. It was deemed inappropriate and Abe and Wakamoto Haru apologised in person to the Japan Sumo Association Chairman Hakaku and the Board of Directors for the incident. The GSA has advised wrestlers not to post on their individual social media in future, although accounts run by stables are not affected. And sumo fans, if you did not know, this is why Rikishi don't use their own social media accounts anymore. He was ranked at Komasubi on the January 2020 Banzuki for the fourth tournament in a row, the first time this happened since Kisena Sato in 2006. It was not long before eyes were back on the arms and legs with a man in the middle, of course, as in February 2020, he was reprimanded again after he told reporters unprompted that he had slept through a workshop organised by the GSA to explain the changes to their social media policy that he had instigated. Then the nail that nearly buried him because in the July 2020 tournament, Abbey was forcibly withdrawn from the tournament for violating the COVID-19 guidelines after he admitted to twice visiting a hostess bar with a low-ranking wrestler from another stable against the guidance on non-essential travel given by the GSA to prevent the spread of the COVID virus. Chairman Hakaku called his actions unpardonable. Abbey submitted a retirement notice through his stable master on August 4th, which was not immediately accepted. Later that week, the GSA suspended Abbey for three tournaments and reduced his pay and that of his stable master while rejecting his resignation. Despite having recently gotten married and having a daughter with his partner, he was told to move back into the stable and be under strict supervision. Abbey was next eligible to compete in the March 2021 tournament, where he was ranked at Makushta 56. He won the Makushta Yushu with a perfect 7-0 record, followed with another perfect 7-0 record in May, which earned him a spot in the Juryo division for the July 2021 tournament. He lost to Kaisho on day 8, to end his winning streak at 21, but still finished with a solid 11-4 record. He won the Jurio Yusho in the following September 2021 tournament to ensure a promotion back to Makauchi in November 2021. On day 13 of the November 2021 tournament, having had only one loss, he defeated Ozeki Takakesho to stand alone in second place on the leaderboard, just one win behind tournament leader Yokozuna Terunofuji. His hopes of winning the tournament were ended the following day when he was defeated by the Yokozuna. However, his 12-3 record was still good enough for a share of second place and he received his third career Fighting Spirit Prize. Fighting from the higher rank of Maegashira 6 in the subsequent January tournament, Abe was once again in contention for the title until the final day and finished as runner-up when Yokozuna Terunofuji was defeated by eventual winner Mitakeumi. 
He received his third gold star for defeating a Yokozuna by upsetting Terina Fuji in their regulation bout on day 14 and was awarded his first Shotgun Show special prize for outstanding performance. For his consecutive runner-up performances, Abe jumped up in the rankings to a newer career high at Sumo's third highest rank of Sekiwaki for March 2022. It marked his return to Sanyaku since being at Komusubi for four tournaments in 2019. He held his Sekiwaki rank for the following tournament, but was defeated on the final day in May by Wakataka Kage to fall to a 7-8 record. A few weeks before the September 2022 tournament, Abe tested positive for COVID. The Sumo Association at the time had yet to determine whether or not he would participate in the Basho. However, Abe announced himself going Kujo and withdrawing on the eve of the tournament due to knee and ankle injuries. The injuries required surgery and about three weeks rehabilitation. He had the surgery, he took time off, he healed up, he came back for this basho and that brings us to his biggest glory moment of his career when he took on all comers, showing amazing sumo with his Oshi pushing style. Despite his great display on the clay, not many thought he would be taking the championship. All eyes were on Takeyasu and Hoshoru. He was defeated and fell to only three opponents over his 15 days of the basho to earn his way into a playoff with two very intimidating opponents in one ex-Ozeki Takayasu and current Ozeki Takakesho. First, he stood against Takayasu, sidestepping in a henka motion while Takayasu seemed to hurt his neck as they collided before he hit the floor. Next up, he stared down probably the best pusher thruster in the game today and went toe-to-toe, defeating Takakesho and subsequently both men to go 12-3 plus two playoff wins and claimed his first Makauchi Yusho and another fighting spirit prize. Congratulations to Abby. his future seems bright. What do you guys think of Abby's win? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for joining me and sumo fans, remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nugget! What a nugget!